Hey everyone, welcome to 4 Wheels Rods and Reels. Today I have the Penn Fierce 3. This is a new reel. Um, in the past I considered getting the Fierce 2 and uh, it didn't end up happening. So now the Fierce 3 came out and I figured I'd get it. Um, the main upgrades between the Fierce 3 and the Fierce 2 is the drag system and um, I guess overall design update. So today I'm just going to be unboxing this and show you what's in the box. So you get the reel wrapped up here. Now this is my first time taking it out of the box, but I did have to spool it because this spool it was free. I got this from Bass Pro Shops. It was $120, but it was on sale. I mean, I used the rod and reel trade-in that they're doing right now, and I got it for $100 instead of $120. This reel goes for $120. So, I'm just going to tighten down the handle. Okay. And this is an 8,000 size. With a live liner, this way I can let the I can let the spool go and the fish take the bait. And then when I want to set the hook, I can just start reeling, or I can just click this up and set the hook. Um, I spooled this with I had them spool it with 30 pound monofilament, and I am going to be putting on 50 pound braid, um, which I also got from Bass Pro. Um, so down here, this controls the drag for the live liner. So how much pressure it requires for the fish to take the line and then the top like I said they updated the drag system it's now HT100 which I heard was a carbon disc instead of just whatever they had before not really sure um, this is supposed to have sealed bearings so you don't have to worry about the salt water although I recommend you rinsing off all your salt water equipment after you use it and rinsing it with fresh water obviously um, the grip is nice nice big grip and I'm going to be putting this on this rod here it's a 10 foot ugly stick big water this is the older version because it's not red. Um, this originally came with the Encore reel, which was not, not very good. And um, it's probably worth reviewing, but it's not worth reviewing because they don't make it anymore because the reel literally broke after a year. It sucked. So I put a Pen Pursuit 2, 6000 on here, and I'm going to move that onto this rod. And uh, that'll be this 8000 will be going on the 10 foot rod. So, also in the box, there are these two washers and apparently it says that if when you're reeling in and you're getting taper like if it's not even like this if it's got like an angle up or down you take off the spool and you put one of these washers either on the top or the bottom and it adjusts it now i, I never knew anything about that or heard of that but it's good that they addressed the problem if it's good that they addressed it if that's something that happens often um, they give you a parts list and a breakdown of how to take it apart, which is very helpful because if, this, if you run out of your warranty period, um, which I'm not sure yet, I have to look at what that even is, I think it's probably a year, um, then you could fix the reel yourself if you need to. And then you have the manual, the spinning reel, on the back here, it tells you how to order parts. Let me see about the warranty. Oh, so you have to visit the website for warranty information. So I guess that would be how long the warranty is. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure how long the warranty is. But here you go. This is the reel. Um, I am, like I said, I'm going to put 50 pound braid on it, and it holds 475 yards, 50 pound braid. 65 is uh, 390. 80 pounds is 345. Uh, the 30 pound mono I have on here is 230 yards, and then it goes down to 25. Uh, to 20 pound mono at 340 yards but it's probably need more uh, braid on here I'm gonna keep the mono backing though and I'm just gonna put braid on the front and um, that's all for the reel that's what's in the box just whatever I showed you and uh, if you want to see the if there's any statistics on this box right here all right, so the 8,000 size is a 5.3 to 1 gear ratio, and it is a um, four-bearing reel, but it's still plenty smooth. You know, it just just keeps going once you do this. Just, just keep spinning. All right, I'm gonna put this on the rod, show you how it looks, and that'll be it. All right, so here we go. I got it on the rod now. Like I said, my other stick, big water, 10 foot, and it looks very good on here. Um, it's it is kind of a heavier it is kind of a heavier uh, package. I think the weight was 32 ounces and that is 909 grams. 
Really, I don't know how to judge that. Um, personally, I don't really care about the weight. I mean, this is something you're not really going to be actively using because it has the live liner. It's more something you're going to let sit and let the fish take the bait. Then you'll worry about it. And for that case, I think it'll be great. Um, also, another thing I wanted to mention at the top where it says HT100, it also shows you the drag is less or more. Now, when you're in the middle of a fight or something and you want to change the drag because it's pulling too much, that's something good to know instead of just sitting there and playing with it. And um, hope you found this helpful and informative. Thanks. Have a great day.